Today I want to teach you how to make a fire without having any tinder. Perhaps you're out in the woods, you can't find dead grass, dry tinder, but I want to show you a way that you can get plenty of tinder just from using punk wood and how to light that fire without having anything else. So let's get the punk wood out and I'm going to use today a Fresno lens as I used in the other video a couple weeks ago, last week. Uh, this is a Fresno lens and it really magnifies a very good ray from the sun on something. So we're going to come back with the punk wood and we're going to show you how to light that fire right here in the fire pit. Alright, what we've got here is an old oak log and you can see that this is punky wood. This stuff is just coming out in little bitty thin slivers and I've gathered a bunch here that we can take up and use in the fire. So we'll go ahead up there back to the fire pit and we'll get a fire started. Now, I've taken my Fresno lens. The best way to use a Fresno, there's a smooth side and a rough side. You want to put the smooth side toward your wood. And what I'm going to do is just focus that flame or that lens onto that wood for a second. Get it at the right angle here. I'm going to do this so you guys can see it. There we go. And you can see that starts to smoke almost immediately. Now you can also do this with an ember from a fire drill, from a hand drill, or from a bow drill. But once you get this punk wood smoking, it's going to smoke for a good long time. And what we're going to do is just take a couple pieces of that and extend that so that it's really flaming good. And once we get a good coal, then we will be able to go ahead and extend that into a fire. We'll be able to blow that right into a fire. So I'm just catching this for a minute or two. Make sure there's a good sized coal there. And I'm going to put it into some of that other punk. And I'm going to add some of this crumbled stuff on top of it. piece wasn't doing it just by itself so what I did is decide to take the magnifying glass and to put right here on the fire pile and we'll get a more sizable coal going until we can uh, get this lit right up. You can see now it's starting to get more and more smoke and the more smoke the better. What we need to do is to form a large coal similar to what we do with the hand drill or a bow drill and then we'll be able to blow that into a fire once that we get all that on. So. We're getting this going now. You can see that the smoke's really starting to come out of there much better. We've got a more extended coal, and that's what we want. All right, you can see we're starting to get a pretty good stream of smoke there. And we're going to keep coaxing this and keep blowing it for just a couple more minutes. And uh, we'll time lapse this for you so that we don't have to hold you while we're blowing this into flame. So let's get this just going a little bit more. We'll be right back. All right, you can see we've been going now for about six minutes with that coal building, and it really builds itself. And we just got to where it started to flame up. So what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of tinder on there, a small uh, wood the size of a pencil lead up to the pencil itself. And that tinder is going to go ahead and catch that flame just from that punk. So hold on one second. Let's see if we can't blow that into flame. And there we go. I called this tinder a minute ago. That's really kindling. That small wood. And we'll go ahead and start to add larger and larger wood. And you can see we didn't use an awful lot of that punk. 
Uh, just needed a good handful of it. But there's our fire. We've got a good fire that's starting up here. And uh, that's a great way to make a fire without any tinder. So we hope you enjoyed this segment of Bushcraft on Fire. And hope you learned something new today. I'm David Wendell. This is Bushcraft on Fire. And we hope you have a great day. Join us again for another video.